My wife, she's the only one to talk that good about me. <laughs> That's just because she has to live with me all the time. <laughs> oh, me. What an honor and a privilege. Ain't nothing like talking with a zipper in your mouth. <laughs> Can you know? It's an honor and a privilege to be here this morning. And uh, I want to say a special thank you to Pastor Johnny Chase and, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Sister Christina. Is that right? Where'd you go, girl? Oh, there you are, front row. <laughs> Blinded by the light up here. <laughs> I feel sorry for y'all having a look at Mug and Mug and these spotlights this morning. Right. They have been absolutely wonderful in orchestrating Kim and I being here this morning. And uh, we actually had, uh, the funny thing is, when, when we, when we uh, had talked to them about booking to come and minister with you guys this morning, I had overlooked, uh, we have so much on our calendar a lot of times, I have to really be careful. And I had overlooked that this was actually the same weekend as our son, Brandon Lester, who's a Bassmaster Elite Series pro. He was in Bull Shoals, Arkansas this week competing up there. And we always, if he obviously, you know, top 12 is a chance to win, they have what's called Championship Sunday, which they finish on Sunday. Well, when I realized it was the week, I was like, uh-oh, if he's up there at the top, we're supposed to be ministering. So me and my wife were immediately trying to pray, like, okay, God, you tell us here, because we don't want to let somebody down and all that. And because uh, God's plan always works out for the best. Amen. And, uh, you know, as much as I would have liked to have seen Brandon be able to compete today to win, uh, you know, it, it, it was God's plan. And we were here this morning. And Brandon's actually at home. He's actually getting ready to go to uh, Wheeler Lake this week to compete in an elite tournament. So it's a blessing for us that he's that close to home that uh, we can actually go 45 minutes to take off and the weigh in every day instead of like 10 or 12 hours like we have to go to most for a tournament. Right, right. But uh, we're, like I said, we're blessed and we're honored. I can't thank the church enough for this opportunity this morning. I'm very blessed to have my beautiful, lovely wife with me this morning. Honey, can you stand up real quick so everybody can see you? All right. Yeah. Matter of fact, honey, while you up, come on up here. God had laid something special on her heart this morning that she wanted to be able to share as we were talking coming up here. And uh, my beautiful wife, Kim, and let's see, I have the mic for you, honey. That's right. Good God, I'm here. He deserves all the honor. Clay and I travel all over the country together. The first thing I want to tell you guys this morning is this. God is a God of mercy. Yes. Yes. He's a God of forgiveness. Yes. And I want to say this to you today. As Clay and I were coming over this morning, a lot of times God will lay things on my heart to share. I felt like someone, or many of you someones, were here today that were going through a season of discouragement. And it may be discouragement in the place of, when am I going to find my mate? How many have ever gone through that? You can say you're single when I go through that, okay? Let me tell you, this one and I were done. Stick a fork in us, done. It is over. I'm independent. I have my career. I was at a very special place in my career. Did not need a man. I'm good, Lord. He was the same way. He went through a lot of heartache. And lo and behold, at a bass tournament of all places, uh, we met. I gave him a real estate card because I wanted him to motivate a friend of mine, well, actually a friend of Brandon's that had been paralyzed. Nine months later, he calls me up and he says, I noticed a ring. Um, are you married? I said, that's costume jewelry, honey. I work in a bank. I don't like being hit on all the time. Right? I'm looking for a special man. I'm looking for a man that chases the heart yes. of God. Yes. 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 And that, my friend, is the problem today. Yes. If they're not a God Whoa. chaser and die. they are not looking for the heart of God, yes. teenagers, run. Yes. Stay yes. away from yes. me. Yes. Look for you a God chaser. Yes. Because let me tell you, I fall deeper in love with this man every day. Amen. The deeper he falls in love with Jesus, the deeper I fall in love with him. Amen. 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 We just want to be a blessing to you guys today. Clay is an incredible man of God, and I am blessed, and your blessing is on the way. Amen. 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 Tell you what, I'm blessed to be married to that woman right there. Amen. She, she's uh, and she's more than a woman to me. She's an angel. And uh, did I marry her for what? Yes. Yeah. I married way up. My, my daddy asked her on the first date because she was blind in one eye and couldn't see how the other one saw. She chose me. 
me, and I tell a quick little story. The uh, we had got to know each other for about a year, just seeing like passing each other at the tournaments. Because Brandon, Brandon started fishing the Bassmaster Opens in 2012, the same year I started fishing them. I had fished with two other previous organizations for about 10 years, and uh, as God as God's plans was. Um, I took about a year off and kind of, kind of, God had realigned some things sponsorship-wise because that's something we'll get into here in a little bit. But uh, I take the year off and I really felt led to go to BASS. And uh, long story short, that's where we met. And after we had we had saw each other at the tournaments for a year, well, when I finally got up the nerve to ask the question because I was not going to be that man, if you know what I mean, the home record man. And uh, I, I asked her if she was married and she said no. And I said, well, I said, are you in a relationship? And she said, no, man. And I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> Two strikes down, one more, one more. And I said, uh, would you give me the honor of taking you to dinner? And she said, I thought you were never going to ask. <laughs> so I, uh, the first weekend that we, uh, she lived in Fayetteville. I lived down in Hamilton, Alabama at the time, which was about a two-hour drive. Well, I knew something was special, and, and it's amazing how God works things out. When when I went to my mother, because at the time I lived at home, my mother and my dad, my grandmother and my granddaddy, and uh, at that time I went to mother, when I had been in previous what you call long-distance relationships, if they were ever going to come in and, and see the family for the weekend, I'd always tell my mother, hey, they're coming in, I'm going to go get them a room. And mom was like, okay, cool, you know, that's fine. Well, when I told Mother that Mother had never met Kim face to face, she had talked to her on the phone but never met her, and when I told Mother that Kim was coming down that weekend to stay, before I could even get it out of my mouth and say, you want me to call the Key West Inn, Mother said, there's a spare bedroom, that's where all she's right, staying. Right. And I knew when she said that, I said, okay, God, this is something special. <laughs> well, the first morning after she had stayed that night, we were having uh, we were having breakfast with my family that morning at the, at the kitchen table. And... Uh, how many Alabama Crimson Tide fans we have in here? Going to <laughs> Roll Tide. Roll Tide. How many Tennessee balls we have in here? Y'all the only orange team I'll pull for when y'all ain't playing Alabama. And I know y'all still confused, so I'll pray for y'all especially. <laughs> anyway, we're sitting at the kitchen table that morning eating breakfast, and uh, my wife at the time had one of them, one of them smartphones, I don't know, it wasn't an iPhone. But anyway, she had that little ESPN app on there. Y'all ever heard that little ESPN app? They go, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, right before a game comes on? Well, we were sitting there that morning, and, and she's over here to my right, my dad's to my left, my mom's on the end of the table. And all of a sudden, I hear her phone go, doo -doo 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 -doo. and she said, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. And my daddy looks over at me, and I said, I said, honey, is that the ESPN app? She said, yeah, that's actually telling me Alabama's kicking off at 11 o'clock, which part of our plan today was to watch the ball game with the family. Well, I remember right then when she said Alabama's playing at 11 o'clock, my dad stopped, the mama stopped. They said, does she love God? I said, yes. I said, I wouldn't be dating if she wouldn't. They said, you need to marry this woman. <laughs> well, they knew right then that, that, that she was right for the family. Amen? <laughs> How many fishermen we have in here this morning? Yeah. I know we got like three right up on the front row, Freddie and Kyle. And uh, you know what's sad is I've, I've known this young man through 